What's going on guys, A Delicious Mango here, and as a lot of you know, the Loba Heirloom was officially shown yesterday in the Beasts of Prey collection event trailer. That trailer was released yesterday, the event itself will come out on Tuesday, but we know all about the Loba Heirloom now. Seen some animation, seen how it looks, see how it looks in game, and I'm really excited to talk about it a little bit, because a lot of people have been asking me, Mango, as a Loba main, you know, you're one of the top 0.1% as far as kills go, and I run her in Apex Predator and Master Lobbies all the time, what do I think of the Heirloom? Am I gonna get it? What are my thoughts? So I thought I'd make a fun little video explaining my thoughts here. I do think it looks pretty good, but I'm going to go over the things I like about it, the things I don't really like about it, what I wish it had, and I'm going to give it like a scale of 1 to 10 rating at the end. So make sure to stick around. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and let's just go ahead and talk about it. It was first shown in this trailer here starting at about 110. You can see here... We got the Loba first person view and the fan comes out after we get a little send back on the Revenant totem form. So that looks like the animation that you pull it out with, at least when you're walking, I don't know about when you're sprinting. She holds it in a couple of different ways, either down at her hip or up in the air, depending on if she's you know interacting with a zip line or something like that. And then here's one of the animations that we've seen so far. It's got this like red kind of like lining on the blades on the outside that I think looks really good. It's kind of like silver in the middle as well. So you can see right here, we got a little bit of silver. The fan itself is just white with gold tipped little fan edges there. And then the blades on the end, of course, you see the red outline with some dark silver or gold right here in the middle. And it looks really elegant. I like it. I think it looks great. It kind of fits the character. If you guys want to see a better version of it, Twitter has had a lot of posts on this exact topic. So here's what it looks like. As you can see, it's kind of like chrome here on the little like spokes. I don't know what best to call it, but the little solid silver parts here. It's kind of chrome, sticks out a little bit. You can see it's really reflective. So if you have high sensitivity or you have high like lighting, your your settings are really high for the video portion of Apex Legends, then you'll probably get to see a lot of really cool interactions with how it reflects sunlight and different sorts of explosions and things like that. That might actually be really cool. One of the first heirlooms that I know of that's gonna really reflect its surroundings. That I think is really interesting. You can see the gold kind of shines in the light as well. Here is an extended version of that heirloom inspection. I'm sure that's not the only one that we're going to get, but since she is kind of the antithesis of Revenant, that is a little bit of the, uh, the first heirloom animation they decided to show us. Talking about the fan itself here, it's just kind of white, and I really do wish that there was some kind of pattern on it. I've seen some people saying it's perfect for Loba because she like, you know, sleek, and like I said earlier, elegant type things, but I think we could have done a little bit better. Maybe have some kind of like gold trim, maybe some lines coming through or something like that. Some kind of pattern. Uh, maybe instead of white, we could have done like a red or something like that. Personally, I would have thought that'd be pretty interesting. I know we saw a lot of like fan-made concept art of the potential fan Loba heirloom. And I think some of them look really good. I think this looks good as well, but you know, I like color. It's my personal preference. I know some people will like this perfectly the way it is, but that's just my simple opinion on it. Wish it had some color, some kind of effect, maybe some kind of pattern, but you know, I like it. Looks pretty decent. Like I said, that's one of the only drawbacks I have for it personally. We do have an image of her holding it here. Now, I'm not sure if this is how she just normally stands. I'm not sure if this is staged or whatever. It, to me, it looks like this is an in-game screenshot. And if she stands like this with the fan out, I actually think that's a pretty cool idle animation. I'm excited to see what she looks like when she runs. I'm excited to see what she looks like when she is crouched, when she's jumping, all this different type of stuff. How she holds will be really cool. Is it always going to be out like this? Sometimes is it going to be, you know, put together? Will she fan it out when she starts sprinting? Uh, one person I like to think about a lot is Octane's animations when he begins to sprint with his heirloom. And I'll show you that right here. So Octane really doesn't have a spammable inspect, like if you just tap N over and over, it's not like he's going to flip it around like a Wraith Kunai or anything. But what he does have is a really nice little sprint animation. So when he starts to sprint, he kind of flicks the knife up in the air. You could just spam that over and over again if you wanted to. And I don't know if Loba's going to have a spammable inspection like Wraith does with a Kunai flip, but I do hope that she has something interesting when she starts to sprint, because at least that does happen a lot. I also kind of hope that her sprinting animation doesn't hold the fan up like this. Bloodhound and Octane both hold the fan, or their heirloom, I should say, up in the air like this. I really hope that hers is more down low, kind of like Ray's Kunai. But, like I said, don't need an inspection spam, but it would be nice to have some cool animations where maybe she like flicks the fan out as she starts to sprint and then holds it low or something like that but I'm really excited to see what will come on Tuesday. Overall, I think it's a great heirloom. I think it's really interesting. I'd give it about an eight and a half out of 10. Not the best heirloom in the game, but by far not the worst. I'd say it's definitely above average. 
I think it's really solid. Like I said, I wish there were a couple more interesting things to it. Maybe some more color on the actual fan itself. Maybe a little gold trail or tracing of something really interesting. But I think it looks really clean. I think it looks great. I think we're going to have some fun animations with it for melees and for sprinting and things like that. And I think there's a lot of cool variety that we could get with the fan open and the fan closed and different ways you can actually hold it. So I'm really looking forward to getting it myself. Again, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I appreciate you watching to the end of the video and I'll catch you in the next one.